First on four, an attorney's fight to build a sexual oriented business on South Padre Island continues after today's public hearing. CBS 4 Stephen Seeley joins us in the newsroom. And Stephen, what has changed from the last time we reported this story? Well, Chris, eight months ago, we reported that attorney Larry Polsky failed to notify all nearby landowners. None of the property owners were in attendance at today's public hearing, which Polsky believes puts him in a great position to win his case. So if I win my case, I win. And if I lose my case, I win. Attorney Larry Polsky believes he will win his case to open his sexually oriented business on South Padre Island. He's been trying to for the past couple of years. In January, Cameron County documents stated those types of businesses are a public safety hazard. In the documents, it also stated the public beach, which is within 1,500 feet of Mr. Polsky's property, is a public park. But Polsky begs to differ. Cameron County cannot designate a public park unless they actually own the property. Polsky's property is about 3,000 feet north from beach access number six, where he hasn't done any construction since he acquired the property about a decade ago. Polsky says his property is in the middle of nowhere and shouldn't impact residential areas. CBS4 spoke with one resident that doesn't have a problem with the possibility of the business. I would say if it was well run and well managed, it could be an asset to the island and if it was badly run and badly managed I think that the people should just make it go away. Polsky says even if he loses the case he'll still sue the county on behalf of his clients. For declaring their taking their property from them they own the public beach they pay taxes on it and now the county's made property they own into a public park. The next scheduled day for Polsky's case is late December. Polsky says the presiding judge wants to move the case along. In the newsroom with complete Valley coverage, Stephen Seeley, CBS4 Valley, tonight.